You're in a restaurant, you've been given a massive wine list and you have absolutely no idea which wine you should choose. Well, have no fear, I'm here with some simple tips to make it easier. Firstly, and this is quite simple, what grows together goes together. Wine was traditionally made in local communities and they were developing and creating wines which would go with their local food, the food they were eating. There's a reason that Italian Primitivo goes so well with pizza, or a French Sancerre is a perfect complement to chalky, earthy goat's cheese salad. So if you're in an Italian restaurant, look at the Italian wines. If you're at a French restaurant, look at the French wines. It's an easy win. Remember, what grows together, goes together. But hold the phone. What if you're enjoying a very popular cuisine without a wine on the list? For example, India or China. Now, these countries develop their own wines, but they're not very commonly seen here. So, in that case, think about what you want from the experience. A great example of this is with Indian curries and spice in general. Europeans have generally enjoyed an off-dry white, such as a Pinot Gris or a Gewurztraminer. Now, that's great because it softens and balances the spice of the curry, but what if you're eating a curry because you enjoy the heat of the chili? Well then, tannins in a red wine actually exacerbate that heat and that flavour. If you want to feel the burn, crack on. I will say that off-dry wines with generally a more floral element, Viognier, Gewurz, Pinot Gris, do go really well with Asian spices and Chinese cuisine, but at the end of the day, and this is just my top tip personally when it comes to wine, Rosé goes with an awful lot because of its freshness and acidity, but also those lovely ripe berry flavours. It's again an easy win. Have a rosé with an Indian curry, with Thai cuisine, with Asian fare. Beautiful. Also, when in doubt, they've cornered the market. Champagne goes with everything. It can suit fresh seafood and creamy bloom cheese. Champagne for the win. Also, if you're at a restaurant, which serves wine by the glass, those bottles are already open. It's worth asking the waiter if you can try a little taster sample of any wine you're thinking of choosing before you order the glass or the bottle. I'll talk about vintages in another episode, but that year on your wine bottle label, that's the year the grapes were harvested. And it entirely changes the wine because of what was going on with the climate at the time. So if you've ordered a particular vintage on the menu, and a different one turns up on the bottle, it's worth having a quick Google under the table and checking that it's still a great vintage. And finally, wine is about pleasure and enjoyment. If you are out to dinner with a friend who has completely different preferences, then sharing a bottle that one of you won't enjoy as much is a false economy. Order the wines by the glass, have your own little wine tasting. So there you go, hopefully these are some simple tips to help you enjoy your restaurant wine experience more. I'm Libby Brody and I'm here for the Wine Curious. So if you've had a fabulous restaurant experience or a terrible restaurant experience, let me know in the comments below. And please do click like and subscribe to follow me for more tips and tricks in the world of wine. Cheers.